Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Hidden Gem on Nana series. Now today we have got a striker by the name of Lucina Traore, six foot eight. Yeah, you heard that right, six foot eight. Lucina Traore. I think he's one of the second tallest players in the game, probably, probably behind Peter Crouch, and then uh, this Dutch goalkeeper who's six foot ten, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, we get to actually have a seven foot striker or seven foot player in general in FIFA. I'm sure that will happen in the future at some point though. But for now, we have got Lucina Troyo who's six foot eight. He was just ridiculously tall. High low work rates, and I picked him up for a price of 650 coins. Which, when you look at his stats and the fact that he's six foot eight, playing in a decent league in the league earned, to be honest, it's a decent league in the league earned. Uh, and you look at his stats and everything, 650 coins looks like an absolute bargain. His in-game stats I haven't actually looked at yet, but his card stats look pretty decent for a 75 rated card, to be honest, and the fact that he's 6 foot 8. 73 shooting, 75, um, 75 shooting, 73 pace, 75 physical, which I'm guessing is a, well, I'm get, I think uh, physical is a combination of heading and uh, strength. So maybe his heading or his strength isn't as high as I thought it would be, but it still looks pretty decent. And uh, 67 dribbling, but we won't really be dribbling with this guy too much unless we actually get through on goal and we have to do a little bit of dribbling. But most of the work will be done by Entep and Lucas just literally whipping the ball into this guy and getting his big orange Fanta What's It hairstyle. Whatever the hell that hairstyle is, I have no idea what that hair is. But just literally putting his big nugget on the ball and putting the ball in the back of the net. We are hoping. Uh, we've got him in a decent little league earned team. Nothing too expensive, nothing too outrageous. Uh, just a few de decent players. Rabio, who's apparently pretty decent. Um, I, I haven't really gone for him just because if I'm building a league earned team, which I have done once before, um, to put like Lacazette in, I haven't actually went for Rabio just because of the fact that he's a non rare and I wanted to make the team look good. Uh, we also got um, Titi as well, who looks pretty decent. Uh, and Jen and Inja and JJ, who I picked up because he looks pretty decent. He is only five foot seven, but uh, you don't really need strong fullbacks to be honest. And uh, pretty much just a solid little league at earn team, and we've got big old Lucina Traore just up top there as well. Um, I do I do want to see how this guy is though, because I am thinking of um, maybe getting him an Ebra up front. That would be absolutely disgusting if Lucina Traore is the big, huge six foot eight target man that I'm expecting to be. But we're just going to jump into a game and see if he is the target man that I'm expecting and hoping he will be. So, getting into the review of Lucina Traore, and in the three games I did play with this guy, he managed to get six goals, which I think is pretty decent. I uh, didn't get any assists, but when he's a 6 foot 8 player, you just want him to score goals, really. You're not too bothered about the assists. Now, getting into his in game stats, but I just put on the screen there, he has got 72 acceleration and 73 sprint speed, so he's not the fastest, as you guys probably already know, but he's got 88 strength, 79 heading, and 76 finishing. And uh, I just want to touch on his heading quickly as well. His heading was a little bit disappointing. He says there his in game stats 79. For a 6 foot 8 player, you probably expect his heading accuracy to be a bit more higher anyway. But unfortunately, he is not high, he's not got a higher stat in his heading. And I was hoping this guy would prove that stat wrong and be really, really good. But unfortunately, for a 6 foot 8 player, his heading is pretty inconsistent. Finishing wise, he's pretty decent. Get through on goal with this guy. And with that 76 finishing, surprisingly, he'll put most chances in the back of the net. And uh, with that 76 position as well, he's got his in game stats on. He's in this right spot at the right time, most of the time. He's always there to get his head on the ball and most of the time put it in the back of the net and also finishing as well, put the ball in the back of the net. As you probably can see as well from his high-low work rate and his positioning, he's always in the right place at the right time, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, dribbling as in-game stats as well, he's got 73 dribbling, which surprisingly, surprisingly, he's not a lanky player really, he didn't feel like a lanky player, he has actually got decent little dribbling and decent agility, um, we has got 38 agility, his agility isn't amazing but he felt a bit like he can move around, he's not like a robot in the game and his dribbling is pretty decent as well. Um, one thing that did stand out for this guy though, apart from his finishing, his heading wasn't amazing but his strength, this guy is so strong, 6 foot 8. 88 strength, you can't knock this guy off the ball, he's literally like a steam train running through on goal. If you can get this guy just running in a straight line through the defenders, you're through on goal. And like I said, his finishing is pretty consistent, so most of the time he will put the ball into the back of the net. Um, I would recommend crossing this guy, crossing it in for this guy, because he has got a 79 heading, and he will probably put the ball in the back of the net and still get quite a lot of heading goals. But not as good heading I was expecting from a 6 foot 8 player. But anyway, getting into the actual rating of this guy, I will give this guy though an 8.5 out of 10. Despite not having as good heading as I was expecting and maybe hoping he would have, he is still a really, really clinical striker. And uh, with the strength as well, he's like a steam train running for one goal. So you will score a lot of goals with this guy. And if you compare this guy with Ebro up top as well, with his heading ability, then you will score goals galore. And I promise you will literally score so many goals. So guys, 
So if you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button down below. And also as well, I've always forgotten, um, I'm going to give this guy a value for money of 10. Because uh, someone requested I do a value for money, so I will be doing that on the future episodes. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.